Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's Matt at Jackass Retro, back with uh, another of our daily postcard what sold videos. And uh, today we have, uh, or we had, they're already, they're already shipped, but uh, yesterday we sold 21 postcards for $120. So going to be a little bit shorter of a video than the last couple. Uh, the last two have been uh, pretty long because a lot went out. So uh, let's jump right into it. All right, so these first two cards uh, both went to the same customer, pretty much same subject matter. Uh, we've got the Concord Stagecoach on display at the Wells Fargo San Francisco. Nice sort of artist view of that. Um, looks like it was based on a photograph. It's just the coloring makes it look almost painted. Advertising postcard, of course, for Wells Fargo sold for $2.95 plus shipping. And then we've got same subject, uh, old Hangtown, Wells Fargo, Overland Stage. I've got a couple of these. Um, this one uh, sold for $1.95 plus shipping. At one point, I had like six or seven of these, and uh, they've almost sold through. So, yeah, $5 between the two. Not too bad. Here's one I picked up um, in a lot off eBay. It's the Motel Lodge unit in Chisos Mountains, uh, Big Bend, National Park, Texas. Nice chrome postcard. Got a bunch of these Big Ben chrome postcards uh, from a, uh, actually it was a Mercari lot. Um, sold off quite a few so far. This one took $2.95 plus shipping. We've got a real photo postcard, uh, big game trophies, uh, caribou on the boat there in Wrangell, Alaska. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Unposted. Just a good, nice postcard. Took $19.95 plus shipping. Again, that uh, $19.95 price point doing me quite well. Pretty happy. Nice uh, airbrushed embossed. I call these airbrushed high relief embossed. Uh, you'll see these a lot of times for holidays or floral, and every now and then you'll see buildings and cities. Uh, so this is the uh, new East River Bridge in New York. Uh, this one sold for $14.95 plus shipping. I truly don't know where I got this. Uh, I think I've had it around for a while and uh, just ended up listing. You can see here I needed to clean my scanner before putting this through, but still sold. This one's seen some better days. This came out of the uh, lot that I picked up uh, in Colorado. Mm -hmm. A uh, lot of chromes, a lot of lower value cards. This one was interesting enough that despite the damage, I thought I could probably sell it. And I did. Um, not big money. I, I obviously downgraded the price due to the condition. Sold for buck ninety five plus shipping. We've got the post office in Charleston, South Carolina. Unposted, but definitely written on. Postcard, friend, your... I'm not going to try to read that. Uh, this one, I, you know, I, I don't know for sure where it came from. Um, it did sell, though, for $6.26 plus shipping. Possible this came from an estate lot that I purchased had a lot of South Carolina cards in it. This one came from uh, the recent pickup. It's a real photo of the Ripo Genus Gorge in uh, Penobscot River. Oh my God, pick a, all right, let's try this together. Ripo Genus Gorge, Penobscot River, Piscataquis County, Maine. Whew. I probably messed some of that up, but I did my best and that's all that matters. Uh, this one sold for $4.01 plus shipping. It was on sale and the uh, offer went out and they took it. Uh, another one from the recent pickup, real photo postcard of Camp High Sierra in the Mammoth Lakes, California. Really nice. This one actually came from a, uh, this one did come from the uh, uh, collection I picked up. So yeah, another nice one there. The next five cards went to the same customer. Uh, the total on the order was $19.51 plus shipping. I'm not going to break it down, but you'll be able to see the common theme. Here you have Lincoln Market uh, Monument in Grant Park, Chicago. Uh, 
unposted white border. We have Lily Pond and Bandstand in Garfield Park, Chicago, Linen, unposted. Illinois Central Depot in Murfreesboro, Illinois, 1912, divided back. Nice railroad station. We have a uh, scene in Lincoln Park, Chicago. And another scene in Lincoln Park, Chicago. Now, uh, mostly unposted except for the one. Uh, they did get 15% off uh, to make it 1951. Uh, and if you haven't been keeping track, yes, they are all Illinois and mostly Chicago postcards. Next. Another linen postcard here, Rising Wolf Mountain and Lower Two Medicine Lake from Theodore Roosevelt Highway, Glacier National Park. So a lot of Glacier National Park postcards over the last year. Um, just a nice one unposted. Somebody was asking a quarter for it at a time. I recognize that handwriting means this came out of the Michon auction lot uh, from much earlier this year, or last year rather. Uh, we have where Deerfield and Cold Rivers meet, Mohawk Trail, Massachusetts. This actually uh, was listed and sold the same day. Uh, this came out of um, the uh, Colorado auction I just recently picked up beginning of the year. Uh, so yeah, $2.95 plus shipping. Here we have a business intersection uh, of Genesee and Oswego Streets in Baldwinville, New York. This came again from the collector. Um, Jub and Company is the publisher here, not one I'm familiar with, but I got a few from this publisher uh, in that collection. So um, this is the first to sell, and uh, I got $8.95 plus shipping out of it. Here we have Century Lodge, uh, West Highway 80 in Abilene, Texas. Um, not sure actually where this one came from, but another nice little linen motel, aerial bird's eye view kind of thing. Um, this may have come from that collection, but uh, it's not a very rare card. It's very, very common card. So um, again, this one took $1.95 plus shipping. When I see them out there, there's a lot of competition. I'll usually just price them to sell um, if they're if they're not rare. Uh, this one uh, came from the local collection I picked up. This is a real photo of the swimming pool in Grants Pass Park, Oregon. Uh, I've been to Grants Pass. Uh, unfortunately, spent some time there. Uh, my previous vehicle to the one I'm dry, driving now died in the middle of the pandemic, on the highway, right outside of the exit to Grants, Oregon. I slept in the parking lot of their Chevrolet dealership. Long story. Here we have Waikiki Beach Boats and Hotels. 1981, for some reason, I decided this, this doesn't need a, a back. So I didn't take a picture of the back. It's got some smudges on the front. It wasn't the greatest condition, so I priced it at $2.95 plus shipping, and it sold. And our last one of the day, here we have the Waikiki Room Tiki Restaurant at Hotel Nicolette in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And uh, yeah, this is another one where, hey, there's a lot of them out there. Um, they were priced at three, four, and five ninety-five. Nothing sold, so I priced mine under the market, dollar ninety-five plus shipping, and it sold in a matter of a couple of days. So that is that. Uh, once again, thank you all very much for watching. It's been a lot of fun doing these. Um, I'm actually coming up on a year of doing postcard what sold videos which is crazy. Um, it's been a long road. I've learned a lot. I'm definitely no expert on postcards, but it's been great for me to share what I've learned. And uh, hopefully you learned something as well. So if you do like this kind of content, please do consider subscribing, uh, hit the like button, bell notification so you know when I go live or I upload new videos. And there's some other ways for you to support the channel down below if you would like to do so. So thanks again very much for watching. Uh, I will be back hopefully tomorrow, assuming some postcards sell. Uh, I think they will. So we'll catch you on the next one. 
Thank you so much. Bye-bye.